What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to use Fourier transforms or to be precise, short time Fourier transforms to remove noise from audio recordings. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to use a Fourier transform or to be precise, a short time Fourier transform in this video to remove background noise from an audio recording. Now, this is a super interesting and fascinating topic, but I don't want to go too much into the mathematical details of uh, the theory behind the Fourier transform or the short time Fourier transform. First of all, because I want to keep this video practical. Second of all, I'm just not that good in this type of advanced calculus. I'm not the right person to teach these math concepts. I'm not the right person to teach a Fourier transform. So I want to focus much more on how we can use it and what we can do with it in programming in Python. And in this case, we're going to remove background noise from an audio recording. Now, the very basic idea behind a Fourier transform is that we take a signal from the time domain. So we have a signal over time, like an audio recording, and we transform it into the so called frequency domain where we have basically um, the possibility to analyze what kind of periodic functions make up the signal. And then we can filter out certain components, we can look at certain components. And this is what we will basically use to filter out the background noise. But we're going to do that, as I said, with the short time Fourier transform, which does the FFT. So the fast Fourier transform, uh, for multiple time segments for multiple segments over time, which is more useful when you have time based data, like an audio recording. So this is what we're going to do in this video today. For this, you're going to need a file that is an audio recording with some background noise. In my case, I recorded one myself, we can listen to it briefly. This is a test recording for a Fourier transform. We're trying to see. Yeah, so you can hear that this is um, basically me speaking and then there's some background noise, we're going to try to remove the background noise, but keep the speech without reducing the quality of the speech. This is the goal of this video today. And this doesn't work by just doing a basic Fourier transform and filtering out low signals, because this also eliminates part of the speech and makes the quality bad. So we have to actually use a more advanced approach of using the short time Fourier transform. But of course, you can also try to do it with the ordinary Fourier transform. Uh, it's just not going to work, or at least for me, it didn't work. Maybe you can make it work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a command line and install a bunch of packages. We're going to start by installing numpy, scipy, uh, matplotlib, then also librosa, which is what we're going to use to uh, do the S STFT, so short time for your transform. And we're also going to use sound file. So these are the packages. And once you have them installed, we can start by importing them, import numpy snp, import uh, librosa, import matplotlib.py plot splt, <clears throat> import sound file ssf. And uh, then we're going to also import scipy dot fft pack sfft. And finally, from scipy dot signal, we want to import the met filter, which is a median filter. And we're going to we're going to use that uh, later on to smooth or to smoothen a mask. Uh, to make a mask smooth. And um, yeah, these are basically the imports that we need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load the audio, we're going to say y data, which is going to be our data that we're going to use for the transform. Uh, and the sampling rate SR is going to be the result of calling the function librosa dot load. And here we're just going to pass sound dot wave, and we're going to say SR equals none. So we're going to get it from the file. Um, then we're going to go, we're going to take that y data and we're going to do an STFT immediately uh, calling by calling the function. So we're going to say here, s full. So this is now going to be the data in the uh, frequency domain s full, and we're also going to get time based data. Now, this is the face data. Now, this data is not going to be relevant to us when it comes to the uh, actual uh, to the actual analysis or filtering out of the noise, but we need that to then perform a so called inverse uh, short time Fourier transform so that we can turn it back from the frequency domain to the time domain because in the end, of course, we want to have a sound file again. So we're going to do as full and face is equal to librosa and then we're going to call a function called Mac face, which basically filters out 
uh, the magnitude and the phase. So as full as the magnitude or the amplitude and phase is phase, the time data. And then we're going to call Librosa. I hope this is how it's pronounced. Uh, STFT of the Y data. So we're transforming our Y data into the frequency domain. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the average noise level for the individual segments. So we have individual segments because this is, as I said, an SF, uh, STFT. Uh, for each of those, we want to have the average noise level. And then we want to, um, or actually, no, we're, we're going to only take the average noise level of the first couple of uh, milliseconds. And based on that, we're going to just make the assumption here that the first couple of milliseconds contain just noise and no relevant speech data. And then we're going to take that and use it to spot uh, the noise level or to, or to remove this noise level uh, or to remove the noise from the rest of the recording. So we're going to say here noise power is going to be equal to NP mean. And we're going to pass here our uh, magnitude data. We're going to use all of it, but we're only going to use the um, we're only going to use the first couple of seconds and we're going to define it by saying sample rate or sampling rate times 0 0.1. We're going to turn it into an integer. This will basically take just the first couple of frames that equal 0. Point, uh, the, the first 0 0.1 seconds. And based on that, we're going to determine the mean. So I have to pass here an axis one. Um, and this is going to be our base average noise level that we're going to use to identify the noise. Now, to actually remove the noise, we need to create a mask. So we need to say that the mask is equal to where exactly is our recording larger than that noise level and that average noise. So I'm going to use here none for broadcasting and NumPy. Um, this basically just says, okay, we're going to get zeros or ones depending on is the content of the sound at this position now. Um, more than the average noise level or not. And then we're going to have a mask full of zeros and ones that will basically when we multiply it uh, with the uh, with the magnitude, so with the S full, we're going to only get um, the parts where this is actually one. Um, now, what we want to do, though, is we want to make this smoother. So we're going to actually um, apply this metfield function here. And for that, we need to turn this into a float first into a float array. So we're going to say mask is mask dot s type float, and then we're going to apply the smoothing. So we're going to say mask is equal to metfield. And we're going to pass the mask and the kernel size of one five. Now, to get the clean audio now in the frequency domain, we need to say s clean is equal to s full times mask. So we apply the mask to our magnitude data, and then we get our clean data. And all we need to do now to actually turn this back into an audio is we need to perform an inverse STFT. So we need to say um, that our y clean is going to be equal to Labrosa I STFT of the s clean data times the face because now we need uh, to to include the temporal aspect again uh the temporal aspect again to to turn this into into a time into the time domain um all right so this is our clean audio and to now um write this into a file we need to use the sound file package we do sf dot write and we're going to call this clean dot wave and that is going to write our clean data given the same or using the same sample rate as before. Uh, now, what's the problem here? I don't think there is a problem. I think that's that's OK. All right. Um, now, this should already work so we can actually run that. And then we're going to also plot the differences here visually so that you can see what's what's actually happening here. Uh, what's the problem here? I think I messed up something that I did not mess up, mess up in my prepared code. Let me just double check here. We do this, we do mean full. Oh, sorry, up until this point, not just a single position up until the first 0 0.1 seconds. So let's run this again. And 
that is it. We should be able now to open this in files. And let's listen to the original again. This is a test recording for a Fourier. And now let's listen to the clean version. This is a test recording for a Fourier transform. Now you can see, uh, you can hear that certain noises are still there, but the basic constant background noise is removed. So listen to this. This is a test recording for a. There's this constant noise, and there's still also some other individual noises, but there's this constant noise, and this constant noise is now removed. This is a test recording for a. And the voice is roughly the same, I would say. Now, of course, it's not perfect. This can be done way better, but for such a simple piece of code here, that's quite uh, impressive, actually. Now, I copy pasted some additional code here that will visualize the changes in the frequency domain. So what we do basically here is we take the Y data and we transform it using an ordinary fast Fourier transform. So not an STFT, but an FFT. Um, and then we plot uh, the original audio and the cleaned audio in the frequency domain. And we also visualize the differences. So when I run this, we can see that this is what it looks like. Now, if you don't know at all what you're looking at, this maybe doesn't make a lot of sense. But you can see the important thing here, or the thing that uh, should should be obvious here is that it's not that easy to do it with an ordinary fast Fourier transform. Because yes, there are some differences that we can see down here. Notice, by the way, the Y scale, they're not very huge. Um, but you can see that the two signals here or the two the two plots here of the frequency domain look actually quite similar. They don't look like you've just cut out something below a, a threshold or something. It doesn't look like that. And this is why you can see that the quality of of cleaning that we have here uh, is the effect or the result of using the STFT and it's not so easy to accomplish with an ordinary FFT with a threshold or drop all the uh, all the frequencies that don't go above a certain amplitude type of approaches. So yeah, this is also a nice visualization here. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.